Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground dog. We're going to go ahead and ground. And this is like somebody has been watching you, but they've been very silent. I was getting silent observer, silent observer, silent observer. So somebody has definitely, let's go ahead and start off with the wisdom of Oracle deck. Somebody has definitely been watching you, but they've been very silent. And, and I was, what else did I get? I said, I, what it was, it was like, they keep watching, but they ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Let's see what comes out. Use the wisdom of Oracle first off. Loyal heart and thinker. Somebody been thinking about you real hard. They've been watching. They've been thinking about you really, really hard. And guess what they know? They know that you are a very loyal individual. They know that like anything that you've ever said to them, you've always been honest with them. And they know that like uh, your heart is pure. We have uh, a 35 breaks down to an eight, which is abundance. And then we have 44, which the angels are definitely all around this person and giving them a lot of signs and synchronicities. Cut the, cut the deck again, right? Eight again. Eight again on, on um the faded card. 17 breaks down to an eight. So it, it's definitely like um this person is getting... They, they know that this was faded. They know that this opportunity was faded. And look, the child, well, they know they ain't put the work in. They know that they should have put some work in that they did not put in. Okay? They know that you're a very peaceful person. Like, you don't got any time for any rah-rah. You don't have any time for negativity. You know, like, you'll go off to yourself. You'll separate. Because you never needed this person for anything. You just wanted them. Okay? And then, right, when orphan change. Like, you'll change up on their ass. Right? You're, you're like, I'm not going to sit here and beg you for anything. Right, I, I know my worth. I know what I deserve. And if you if you don't want to get with it, then goodbye. Period. And they know that that's your energy. We have by the book. They were led to do something. One one. Um, they were led to do something. Right. They were led to do something the right way. And then right after that, go to distance. And that's eleven again to get an alignment. Forty seven. Breaks down to an 11. They were led to go the distance. They were led to put this work in. They were led to go ahead and co-create with you. And there's something that need to fix. Clean it up. There's something that need to fix from the from deeply rooted within themselves and within this connection. They've been asking themselves why a lot. Why, like, did you meet like this? Why is this connection like this? Why do they have constant thoughts? Why do they have feelings about you in this matter? And they know there's nobody else like you, period. It doesn't matter who they tried to put in competition. And look what flipped over. Just like that, y'all, in my hand. Ask me how. I just put my hand up and it flipped over like that. <laughs> They've been led by a higher power because they know that this is a higher connection. They know you're supposed to build upon something. You know, they, they know that you need to get to the next stage in creating. Create, create, create before it's too late. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how it goes, but uh, create before it's too late. That's the energy. All right. What else do we have here? Putting this hair on a fork. This person, this person is bored. This person is very bored with themselves. They they feeling alone. They feeling lonely. Um, and it's definitely in the energy of them, you know, overthinking a lot. And they always overthink a lot and them not being honest. We have the chariot and the page of pentacles. So this person was going through a lot of adversity. They they may have told you about some things that they were going through, but there was like some type of a mental balance that they needed to get. Mental and emotional balance. And you know, they know that you were always have been success. And you know, there's a reason why this person would ghost you. There's a reason why this person wouldn't call you back because they already knew that you were too good for them. Page of Pentacles. Um, this person knows that you were too good for them. This person knew that you were a hard worker and they know that once you realize that everything that they told you or everything that you saw about them was a fake facade that you were going to go ahead and uh, escape from their ass, right? That's what they thought in their mind because they were on some lower vibrational shit and they had some wounds to heal, but you're not that type of person, right? 
You're the you're type of person that's going to love the person from where who they are as long as they're respecting you the right way. Period. Ten of Wands. This person knew that you were a hard worker, right? And they worried about what other people were thinking. They didn't want to let go of something. There was something that they were stuck on. There was something that they did not want to let go. Um, and you were like, uh-uh. If, if you're not for me, then you against me. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So this person always saw the history that you had with them. They always saw um, something more. They always saw, you know, them being able to be happy with you and being able to build. I'm even getting um, co-parenting, um, co-blended families. What do we have now? We have the two of wands. So this person, they want to progress with you. They want to progress with you and what fell on the floor, page of wands in reverse. But they are very much so, they, they um, are stuck. They have a lack of direction. They're, they're stuck. They're stuck in a... Um, in a lack mentality. And there's some childhood wounds that they need to go ahead and heal. Like, I'm getting told to like, it's like, okay, let me give you an example. So it's like if somebody, and I've said this example before, somebody has this like traumatic experience that happens to them when they're 10 years old and they, they're like 50 years old now, right? They get stuck and their, their, their level of maturity can still be stuck in that 10 year old per, um, child, right? Because they never properly got um, to work that out, right? They never properly got to address the issues. They never properly got to face that childhood trauma and release from it. So because of that, this person is very immature and they act very immature. And they know that there's some things that they need to work on within themselves. Let me say that. But this person is still stuck. Then we have the hangman. So they, they just know that they got to let go. They know that they got to let go because there's a lot of signs that they keep on getting about you. We have the five of swords. You know, the tension within themselves, they're not winning from it. They see that it's a no-win situation from overthinking. They see that it's a, a no-win situation from being indecisive, from being um, from betraying you. It was They didn't win shit, but heartache, but overthinking in their head, and but the constant thoughts about you, they didn't win shit. That's the motherfucking truth, ace of swords, right? So now this person knows that the only way they're going to have to come is come correct, right? And they want to show the will and determination. Here we have the Queen of Cups. They know that you're very intuitive. They know that you're not going to take, like, you already know. You caught them on their bullshit before. And they know that you're going to call them on again if they're not coming correct. Because they know that, you know, they're done, they've done something in the past that you can't trust them. So it's like, you're going to have to, I say this all the time, proof is in the pudding. Like, it's not any more wor words at this point in time because this person is somebody that you have an established history with and they have, um, like, you, you've you forgiven them before, okay? So, like, as you've been working on yourself, like, re um, watching tarot and things of that nature, you've been working on yourself, understanding what attracted you to them, you're like, you can't come back in the same energy. It's got to be a whole completely different energy. We have the Queen of Wands. So, you're very valuable. This This person sees you as so much of a giver. And they see you as a person that gives good advice. And they see you as um, very determined. And they know that you deserve a, a lot more than what they were giving. Nine of Cups. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. You know, whether it's in this person or somebody else. But I do see somebody coming towards you that's going to lead to satisfaction. That's going to lead to reciprocation. That's going to lead to everything that you've wanted, right? And this person would hate. Like, they're in the energy of hating for you to be with somebody else. Because they couldn't get their shit together. What do we have here? We have the temperance and eight of wands. So it's definitely like um, communication. It's definitely like sudden change, sudden action. And this person knows that there's going to have to be some type of balance here, period. They will. There's definitely going to have to be some type of balance here for this to work at all. For it even to be a consideration, okay? All right. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.